I'm going to show you the cover of Newsweek this week. This is Sarah Palin on the cover. How do you solve a problem like Sarah? She's bad news for the GOP and for everybody else, too. Uh, does Rudy Giuliani, a moderate Republican on social issues, a tough-on-crime Republican on other issues, do you think Sarah Palin is bad for the Republican Party? No, I do not. I think Sarah Palin is great for the Republican Party. I think the fact that Newsweek has her on the cover and is criticizing is a great indication of how good she is for the Republican Party. <laughs> how much enthusiasm how much enthusiasm she 's uh, created, and I took her to the famous uh, game at Yankee uh, Stadium this summer, where Letterman got in trouble making those those unfortunate remarks about her daughter picking the wrong daughter uh, and she gets a tremendous reception even here in democratic new york i mean this this, this is a, a person who creates great enthusiasm for the party we 're very far away from a two thousand and twelve election right now. I like figures who are creating interest in the Republican Party. Given the decisions that the Obama administration is making, particularly in this area of terrorism, which concerns me probably more than any other, we're going to need some pretty strong alternatives in 2012. I don't know if it'll be Sarah Palin or someone else, but right now it's developing interest in a Republican Party, and we need a two-party system, and we need a healthy one. You say you don't know if it'll be her. Might it be you? Some people say Rudy should run for president again. Other people say, please run for governor, Mr. Giuliani. What will you do? And other people say, please don't. <laughs> and what's the answer? I don't know yet. I don't know what the answer is yet, John. When do you have to make that decision? Uh, not today. <laughs> not this morning. Well, let me ask you lastly about, you say you welcome Sarah Palin, you think she's good for the party. What about what happened in NY23, where you had a candidate, a moderate Republican candidate, who had the endorsement of the party, and then conservatives like Sarah Palin came in and said, no, not good enough. Not good enough on taxes, not good enough that on life, not good enough on these issues. Is that a good precedent for the party? Nope. <laughs> that's not a good president for the party, and that's the way uh, you, you can allow Democrats to win, even if the public uh, has turned against them on certain things. I think in that particular case, I know that district. That's a district that is very concerned about Obama's health care. You can see the Democrat has voted against the Obama health care uh, program. That, that's a district where we could elect a Republican if we get our act together, and let's hope we don't repeat that too often because then we surely won't be a majority party. So in that case, she was bad for the party. Well, I don't know if she was. I, you, know, you have to understand about the Republican candidate. The Republican p candidate wasn't just socially moderate and, and fiscally conservative. The Republican candidate I would have had trouble with. I mean, she's a candidate, uh, she was a candidate that was, um, that was in favor of the stimulus, a candidate that refused to condemn ACORN, a candidate that was in favor of heavy spending. So there was a lot of trouble there. That was just like a wrong decision that a lot of people participated in. Mayor Rudy Giuliani, we appreciate your time today, and I will say this since it's the first time I've had the opportunity. Very hard for a Red Sox fan. Congratulations to your <laughs> Yankees. Keep us posted on your plans, and we'll see you in the near future. Thank you very much. Take care, Mr. Mayor. Thank you.